in the previous lecture we have completed the filtering of the rooms in the home page so now in this lecture we are going to complete our payment gateway integration process so as i shown in the demo we are using the stripe payment gateway integration for our application to take the payment from the customers so first of all i will show you the demo i will open the deployed version so already the user is logged in the chrome so we cannot show the some other website with the same process so i am opening in the edge so here you can see this is my deployed version application so if i open my profile uh if i open the bookings here you can see the bookings is empty so now i am going to home page and here i am going to book this room oyo flagship so i am going to select some date uh, i am going to select 22 uh, to 25 here you can see if i click on book now it will takes us to the uh, description page or the booking page here uh, we up to here we have completed after clicking on this pay now button in our developing application directly the room is booking but in middle we have, we have one more step that is called as the adding payment gateway so in the deployed version if you click on the pay now button you will get this pop up so this is the stripe payment gateway integration pop up so here you have to enter the details so the email and enter the name this uh, address is uh, optional because for the room booking the address is not a mandatory thing if it is e-commerce website the address is mandatory so if you want you can add uh, else you can ignore it so then you need to click on the payment info here you can see the amount is 8000 here also you can see the amount is 8000 so after giving the uh, shipping details you just need to enter the credit card number and here you can see i am entering the dummy card number which is the uh, test mode of the stripe version so you need to enter the uh, some uh, expiry date details and here you have to enter the cvv and then you just need to click on this pay now button so if you click on this pay now button it will process the payment request and it will also book the room for you so pay loading here you can see i got the alert pop up congrats your room has booked successfully now if i click on okay it will takes us to the booking page here you can see now the room is booked so this is the this is the process of payment gateway integration so after the payment is success only we have to book the room else we have to cancel the booking if the payment is failure so this is the thing we are going to achieve in this section so first of all i am going to explain some thing about the stripe so stripe is one of the world's famous payment gateway integration so it will support all the programming languages like java uh, node js php python everything so here we we are going to use the stripe for both front end and back end so in the front end we have to take the, uh, the all those shipping details user details everything and we have to send it to the back end so in the back end we have to validate their details and we have to confirm the payment so if you enter the stripe js you can see this result www.stripe.com open this stripe javascript so if you haven't created the stripe payment gateway uh, account you can create it it's uh, easy so not this uh, this is for documentation if you want to see the demo just open the first website stripe a complete payments platform so here we need to click on the sign in you can sign if you haven't signed up you just need to uh, give the valid credentials and you need to sign up i have already signed up and i will log in with my credentials continue so the payment gateway integration process also very simple in this stripe so compared to all other payment gateway sdks like paypal uh, other things razor pay all those things so stripe is easy to implement so here you can see the dashboard is loading so just now we have paid the 8000 of amount to the uh, this pay stripe payment gateway account so now i will show the transaction here we can see the time is uh, 58 that means 178 june 17 now i am going to my payments so through this account only i got the payments here you can see this is the latest payment so you can see customer name customer email at the rate gmail.com so if you click on it you will get all the details that we have entered in the alert pop up of the stripe so here it will work 
so you just need to click on these payments and you can see all your payments all are these test payments only because we are developers we don't include in the real time so we can discuss about these payments later so first of all after creating the account you have to generate two keys so to generate that keys you just need to click on this activate your account so if you click on that activate the account that account you will get two keys the first one is payment gateway sorry this is not activate account we have one more option stripe keys i think so for the front end we'll have one key and from the back end we'll have another key uh, we may click on developers yeah here you can see in the api keys you have this click on the api keys and here you have two keys standard keys the first one is publishable key and the second one is secret key so this publishable key is need to be present in the front end side and the secret key is need to be present in the back end side so these two keys are mandatory when you want to implement stripe payment gateway in our application so after uh, getting signed up in the stripe payment gateway application the first and foremost thing you have to do is generating these two keys and copy these two keys and paste in your secret file that means any notepad for anything so because we have to use these files so i have created it on march 25th and i have latest used on june 17th today because just now we have completed one transaction that's the reason it is showing last used is equal to june 17th and uh, as i said this is the secret key that's the reason they are hiding so if you click on this reveal test key button you will get the secret key and as i said this uh, this token that means secret key is for front end and the this secret key is for back end and the front end key is called as the publishable key and back end key is called as the secret key so without any this uh, even if you have only one key we cannot process the request so that's the reason these two keys are necessary and we can freely generate this and in the next lecture we are going to start the implementation of the stripe payment gateway integration thank you